Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We are jumping in again and today I'm doing a Tainted Keeper run but we are trying out the Golden Shovel from Isaac Reshaken. This is going to dig up one to two chests and a random golden pickup but if we use it on a decorative tile it gives us a member card trap door which I thought could be pretty fun and honestly I just really wanted to do a run as this guy because this Odyssey Tainted Keeper is just so much fun. That was a... Uh, a really bad hit to start. Honestly, I kind of forgot how to keep a work for a second there. I just kind of decided to not pick up any of that money. Ooh, Chemical Peel is honestly amazing for us right now, so I'll be very much trying to get that. I'm going to try and wait until these fellas... Dude, I'm taking some bad damage right now. There you go. Try and wait until they get over onto the land that we can actually grab the stuff from. That would be uh, ideal. We're not always going to get all the money, but I'd like to get at least some of it. You need to chill out, my guy. Okay, do you want to come over here, my guy? Do you want to... There you go. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Ooh, we got a boss. This is actually a really hard boss because he can fire missiles. Um, I have seen him do it, and it's scary when he does. They travel at quite some speed, and uh, they they uh, they obviously do a lot of damage. I mean, to us, they'll do just one key, uh, one kind of damage. There it is. There it is. They're really, really hard to avoid. Like, genuinely. That's why I'm going to do that. <laughs> just to make sure we actually kill him. So otherwise, there's a chance that I wouldn't, and we got our bombs back from getting hot bombs there. Hot bombs, not an item that I absolutely love, but honestly, just the fact that um, having hot bombs uh, gives you fire surrounding yourself is pretty awesome. Also, it means the bombs do contact damage, which is pretty nice too. I do like that. There you go. And then we've almost got enough for chemical peel, although I will check my shop first, because we might get something better out of the shop, obviously. And that's some good money as well there. Bish bash bosh. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, damage multiplier. Um, that's All of that's very, very good. So I think we will be taking that. Thank you. Um, and then, yeah. Just, just, just good old stats. That's what we like to see. Just good old stats. And then we got some flies here doing some business for us. Will this give us any money? No, I didn't think it would. Flies, can you take care of this guy for me? Thank you. And we'll go get chemical peel. I don't really care what my boss item is. Um... And I guess we'll pop this here and just see what we get, just in case we can afford it. Obviously, things in here are of varying prices. So this time around, we didn't get anything too good there. Uh, it, it's really, we're going to be waiting until we end up uh, getting a little bit deeper into the run before the golden shovel becomes really good. Because once we start getting to the point where we've got keys and stuff, uh, that's going to make more of a difference. Also, as you can see here... Getting that, we got a gold skin there. So I've actually got a mod on called Golden Keeper, which is partially working and partially not. Uh, it's meant to make the Keeper fully golden, and it isn't for some reason, but it is making all of our costumes golden, which I think is actually kind of cool. It's like we've revealed the underneath layer of the Keeper, and that underneath layer is fully gold. I kind of like that idea. Nice. Kind of messed up those bombs, and I kind of messed up getting hit there. You dropped one coin? Are you kidding? Okay, the drum is actually kind of sad to miss out on, but we shall prevail. We shall keep pushing forward. Hey, look, there you go. There, there he has been all, all golden, shimmering and gleaming. Shimmering and gleaming like the beautiful boy that he is. I do really enjoy a good old keeper on there. Um, what was the last thing that you spent stupid money on will be my question today. What was the last thing that you spent just money that you shouldn't have spent. It, it can be something that you still enjoyed having and you, you don't regret purchasing, but it was a stupid thing to spend money on is, is more so what we're looking for here. Um, I don't know for me. Probably Call of Duty. <laughs> I spent £70 on the new Call of Duty. It's basically the same fucking game every year. There's no reason to buy it again, but I don't know. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I'm not going to diminish my, uh, my joy just because it's a stupid purchase and Call of Duty's the same every year. I'm not going to diminish that, but it is is—it is still a bit stupid. Oh, I did not realize that you could get curse pennies through, uh, through killing enemies. It's kind of interesting. Let's see what we can do here. We've got 15 coins already. That's good stuff. I do quite like a good old B floor here. I'm really, really liking having um, chemical peel here. Honestly, super, super good on the keeper with low fire rate. Every second shot just does so much more damage. Um, can we find a decorative tile anywhere? I don't see any in this room. Oh, there's one, there's one. We'll check what's going on down here. We've always got to check. Um, heals two. Killing a champion enemy grants a random stat up. Oh, I love that idea. I love that idea. 
I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. That's a really cool idea. Just get stat ups by killing champions. We should be able to get enough money to afford a shop item or whatnot. I've just got to be a little more forceful about actually grabbing the money that is mine. There you go. That was... That helps. Oh, beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Got loads of money oh, instantly back in that one room there. Dime. Really went a long way there. That's what you got to get. Just a dime on occasion. Shop is going to give us... Some really good stuff. <laughs> Holy Light is awesome. Hive Mind is really good for us here as well. Head of the Keeper. Oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my goodness. He came at me fast and strong there. Good, good. This... This was good. <laughs> There's a nickel in here somewhere, apparently, as well. Oh, did I miss it? Oh, I missed it. That enemy died and dropped a nickel. Okay. Definitely hive mind. Really, really good. Yeah, I'm actually... I'd rather keep the speed than have the damage, you know. I know that seems weird, but... I would much rather keep the speed. And the speed is, uh, is super useful on this character for collecting more money. And the damage we're doing right now is really good. And we got Holy Light on top of that. We just need some luck to go along with Holy Light to make it a bit more valuable. Uh, but yeah, a Hive Mind, Head of the Keeper. Kind of insane that we got Head of the Keeper there. Random stat up there from a champion kill. We love that. We love that. Crack that open. Monster Manuel. Not the best for us right now, considering we're doing a bit of a showcase run here. But thank you nonetheless. And our item is... Grant's Flight Flips Player Sprite. I've remember this being really glitchy before, so we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> it it Basically, it flips the player sprite, but it, it does it has a really hard time flipping modded, um, like modded heads and stuff, like costumes. So it gets a bit janky, but the flight's worth it, and it actually looks kind of funky. Oh, hello, big boy. You're not going to be totally annoying, are you? Good job, I've got hot bombs, which do contact damage and then the bomb damage. Very good stuff. Um, I'm going to go Angel Deal, obviously, here. That would be really nice, honestly. That would be really, really nice, but I don't think there's any way we get that. So let's keep moving on. I'm down to clown with moving on. I'm going to have to take a pause during the middle of this video, by the way. I have um, I have a call that I have to take um, that is just... Basically, I, I, was, I was a stupid YouTuber and didn't actually do my uh, my videos on time and so I've kind of got this mixed in the middle of other things as you can hear uh, by that notification if you guys could hear that I don't actually know if you can um one usage off of another member card access we've unfortunately not had a lot of keys this run so spawning the old um spawning the old golden pickup and stuff hasn't really worked out for us I'd like to spawn more golden pickups but we have managed to get that waffle item out of this which I think is pretty cool um Enemies have a chance to be abducted by aliens. As, as fun as that is, that takes away money from us, so I don't think that's ideal. We're just looking for, like, a random lucky sacred heart from that at some point, aren't we? <laughs> I've got flight, haven't I? Yeah. Right, so champion enemy there. Another random stat up. I really, really like that. If that can give us luck, that's going to be so nice. Because building our luck up to get more holy light shots would be pretty insane. I'd very much like to see it. But yeah, I want more keys so that I can play around more with... Um, I'll buy a welding sack. So that I can play around more with my, my golden shovel, but I'm just not really getting that at the minute. Um, allows to hold their bombs. Interesting. 10 LD6, not bad. Leech. This is not an amazing shop right here, unfortunately. Giving us breakfast is a little offensive, I'll be honest. I could buy the D6 and then re-roll everything, but that would, of course, re-roll my current active, which <clears throat> I'm not into. Calm yourself. I'm pretty sure there's a secret room here, so let's check it out. There you go. Ooh, baby. Okay. Crimson Stick, you are literally everywhere all the time, but I will take you. <laughs> and... Spin down dice. Ooh, spin down dice. Do you know what? We're doing it. Give school bag. It's not school bag. 
I know it's a bit cheaty, but if we get ourselves a, a key, I will definitely be grabbing that spin down. Just, it's fun. The whole, these runs where we spawn stuff in, it's not about actually playing really well and playing super legit. We're spawning items in at this point. Let's, let's, let's not beat around the bush. Let's just do what's fun and entertaining, shall we? If spin down comes up and my active that I'm showcasing for the run blocks it, we are of course, no, I missed out on a golden penny. We are of course going to do what we can to take the spin down dice. Unless I don't get a key. In that case, I won't take it because that... That is then cheating more so. <laughs> That's like proper, proper cheating. But we will get a key because the game loves me. Dude, we're getting so many champions. There's the key, baby. Okay, so now we can grab spin down and we can start doing some interesting stuff with spin down. Spin down's gonna open up a lot of opportunities to us potentially. And I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. Um, where the hell was the secret room? It was down below here, maybe? Yes, it was. Okay. Right, so we can grab that now. And then what does this spin down into? Unfortunately, nothing that good. Although we would get two of them, which is kind of good. But yeah, I'm not that interested in that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go back to the shop. The shop was pretty bad. Spin down could fix the shop. Um... Ooh, <laughs> yes, please. That's really good, and that is really, really good. Insta-kills enemies when uh, damage to half the HP, quarter HP for bosses. Freezer baby, I will take. And Headless baby I'm not going to take, but I am going to re-roll and do that again to get Rotten baby, of which Rotten baby is really, really good for us because he will give us um, beefed up hive mind fellas. Yeah, that this has worked out pretty nicely. We're also one-off conjoined now. We do have the Crimson Stick for finding red rooms, but that is an item that I I like using, but I get it a lot at the minute for some reason. And it's one of those items I don't want to, like, overdo. Because I think playing into its hand, while fun, makes your runs take a really long time. And it's a very specific style of playing that we're not really looking at right now. Hey, I have a mod so Sticky Nickels don't disappear when they spawn from this character now, which I think is an amazing change. Bell clapper. Yeah, just 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 give me something that's gonna give me more keys, game. That's what we're looking for right now. Being able to get more keys would be super, super nice. So we can actually use our uh, active how it was meant to be used. For now though, we will keep opening extra shops. I've not opened more than one shop on a floor yet. I don't know how that would work. Unfortunately, didn't even get any items there. Just trinkets. Yeah, I think I think opening more than one shop on a floor would just uh open up the same shop, right? I'm not entirely sure about that though. But yeah, this item that, that kills enemies at half HP is absolutely bonkers good. And obviously the fact that we just got Steam Sale as well is, is pretty nutty. Like that enemy just died. I didn't even do anything. Secret room again. Rather nice. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Got decent damage right now as well. Bell Clapper obviously does diminish that damage that we gain, but... First few shots, shots on a room do some good. Ah, oh, damn, I missed out on some good stuff there. Multiple keys, I'm going to keep those keys for now rather than opening that chest. I just like it when Holy Light procs and kills like six enemies at once. Missing out on a lot of coins right now, I need to be way more cautious of that. Not having mapping right now isn't great, I will say. Oh, the dime, baby. That makes up for all of the missed opportunity. So this time I will just pop this. And it said we get a golden pickup, but I don't think we did that time. Ooh, that's very good. Extra damage against bosses. Lovely. Is there still an enemy in here? Oh, it's just really dark. Good stuff. That's a that's a double dime, that is. That's a double dime. We'll bomb this. 
If it's if it opens a red room on this floor, I can't because I could accidentally error room myself because I don't have mapping. So I can't just be going for it. Dude, the money is coming in hot and fast though right now. How have we not found our shop or our item room on this floor? That's just silly. Let's just do the boss now. We should be getting an angel deal here, hopefully. There you go. Mr. Dolly. Mrs. Dolly. Mr. Yeah, it's Mr. Dolly, yeah. I was going to say Mrs. Dolly. No, it's Mr. Dolly. Um. Yes, please. And then also, we might... Okay, conjoined is good here. I just need to check, because we might spin... Yeah, there you go. That's what it is. Spin down to Death Scythe. That's that's one of my favorite interactions, that. It's such a guarantee that you can get that, like, every run. Beautiful stuff. Grab, 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 grab. We are grabbing everything. Shop, what do you hold for me? Uh, also, I'll pop you again. Hey! Golden key, that's what you're looking for, really, isn't it? That's what you're looking for. That's really good. That's really good. That's a speed up, so I'll take it. Um, and I think, I think the eye here is really good. Grants a random discount to items in the shop. Discount range from zero to four coins. Yeah, yeah, that that could that could generate some insanely cheap items for us. Not that we have many shops left here, but still, we only have two shops left. Need to go find our item room real quick. I don't know how we missed out on that. Dad's Lucky Coin. Ooh, Compound Fractures there. I don't think we're going to be able to get that, but just in case. I'll leave it there for now. We need battery pennies to be dropping. They're super rare, but one mod does add them. I'm pretty sure there's another luck upgrade. That's what we need, baby. That's what we need. And... 10% fire rate, shot speed, tears become influenced by Isaac's movement. That sounds interesting. I like it. So if, we, if we're if we carrying momentum, they, they move at a higher shot speed. Oh, I see. We can curve them. It's like a pitcher's mitt for like a curveball. That's kind of cool. I like that idea. Don't mind that at all. Let's go fight the boss. We have an insane setup right now. Oh, we already fought the boss. I'm stupid. But yeah, we have an insane setup right now. This is really, really good. Oh, we got the bug. The Every now and again, I get this bug where I just get every single curse. People have told me it's something to do with my familiars. Like, f familiars also give you a chance to gain a curse. But it's, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a fun challenge when it happens. I do want to see if there's a way that I can on purpose generate every curse at once and do like a challenge run where I, I try and win with every curse on at once. Why are these enemies not dying? Oh, wait, it's the curse. The curse is bugging these enemies. I might have to bomb out of here. Okay, at least other enemies are dying. It's, it's not just all enemies don't die right now. We are going to have to bomb out of that room every time. We're on 99 cent now, so don't got to worry about money for a little bit, which is good. Ooh, a key, though. I will take a key. Let's pop that there and see what we got going down under. Ah, dude, th the shops need to be way better, man. <laughs> like, I, like it should at least guarantee one item. Oh, we got Mozzie, hello. That is a double locked item room for some reason. That's I'm guessing that's something to do with all the curses we have. Yeah, I'll gamble. Toothpaste. Keep going. But a little. Gotcha. And then we'll pop that randomly. No golden pickup for us this time. I don't know why sometimes it just doesn't give us a golden pickup. Judgment. Interesting, potentially. Hey, extra keys is what we're looking for right now. It's good stuff. Oh my god. You dropped so many monies. Not that I need the monies, but you drop so many of them. Come on, shop. Reveal yourself to me, please. 
Where art thou? There's that boss at least. Ooh, I remember this enemy. That, that enemy's from um, Deliverance. I guess I've only recently re-enabled Deliverance, and it's just such a good mod. Ah, I kind of forgot about this. Fettered, decent. Moving box we can spin down. That's pretty good for luck. Bag of crafting. Bag of crafting could be interesting, but I think I will spin both of these down and hope for the best. Suplex. Telekinesis. Spin it down again. Coupon. Stapler. Okay, we finally got something good, but... Coupon, I'm sorry. As good as you are, you are not required. You are surplus to requirement. You are suplex to requirement. You are Dunion Rings as well. A deal, perhaps? Oh my god, we got a deal. Midnight Bread came for its revenge. Damn it. Of course we'd get that. God damn it. Oh no, no, no I just lost my shovel. Okay, one, one, hold up one minute. I've got to get my shovel back. That was a bit of a shame right there. That was a bit of a shame. But, I mean, we've got a really strong run on going right now, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna act like it's the worst thing in the world. There's, that's exactly what we're looking for. If you get a golden key as your first golden pickup, you're kind of set. I've got a notification popping up that I need to get rid of. Go away. There you go. I've got a pause for a little bit very shortly, but I'm going to try and blast out this floor first, because I want to. We finally got mapping again, so we can actually potentially... Oh, we got Curse the Blind again, though. We can at least throw some bombs here for some red rooms or secret rooms. Although we're not finding many red rooms, so... Kind of got a bit unlucky with that one. Right, I'm just interested in our shop. Give me the, the tastiest shop you've ever seen. I mean, that is a shop. You didn't lie to me there. That is a shop. Sad Onion's really good for us here. Lovely. Oh my god. <laughs> it's crazy how powerful this is. Right, again, we can't spin stuff down, which is sad. I don't even know what that does. Mystery Meat. Aubrey. I think with Aubrey, if we go out of here, back in, then we play out Aubrey to give us the, I think it's five pair. We get a bunch of active items out of Aubrey, and then we spin them all down and hurt for passive items. Okay, maybe it's not five pair, maybe it's random. I thought it was always five. Then we spin them all down, and we hope for the best. Another active, goddammit. Did you get Bookworm, though? Doesn't look like a book, that. That looks like a cheese grater. We got the poop. Oh my god, exciting. Hedonist cookbook's really good, too. Birthday gift is an interesting one. <laughs> Wait, does birthday gift work retroactively? No, it doesn't, damn it. Birthday gift's kind of interesting. It makes it so that all items are now the, the mystery gift. So we can get, um... I need to do a video on that item, to be fair. It, mean, it means that we can get, like, all secret room items if we want. But it does, it does make a lot more, like, take a lot more fucking around. Which is a bit annoying. But hey-ho. I think this floor now, we're ready to just beeline it. We've, we've gotten a lot out of our shop. Yeah, there you go. We do have our item room, but honestly... Honestly, <laughs> do we need it? Uh, do we have a, a floor tile we can we can use here? No. A lost cork. Right, we'll go down. I'll take my pause and I should be back for you guys in just a second. Um, one second. Okay, we are back. Let's carry this speedy run. And honestly, I've been gone like over an hour, so I just forgot how awesome this run was. I don't really need much money anymore. Mainly the thing I'd like is just to be able to... Actually, I suppose if I get lucky with my... Um, if I get lucky with my uh, market shops from the shovel, I, I guess I could end up using a good bit of money. Do you know what would be nice? If the, um, if the member shops were like based on the pool that you're in, obviously I realised that 
in the base game, there'd be... Oh, shit, that was kind of close. Um, there'd be no real reason for that to exist. But it'd be, it'd be interesting, right? It'd be interesting if... Uh, with this version of it, it was based on the pool you're in. And I'm not saying it should sell, like, a bunch of secret items. It should be kind of like they are now, where there's the chance that you just don't get an item sometimes. I really should have spun that down. Sometimes there'll be a chance that you just don't get an item. But it would be nice if it had, like, the option to potentially go into the secret room and sometimes, oh, look, you have, like, three secret room items on offer. But I guess... One of the things about member card is it doesn't have item pools, or at least I don't think it does. I've seen, like, Sacred Heart in there before. And I, th I think I've seen Echo Chamber. Does any can anyone quote on that if if um, member's card does just completely remove pools and it's just any item? It might well be. I'm not entirely sure, though. I, I guess member card is kind of one of those things that's it's kind of rare. Let's pop that. Ooh, I got a non-golden chest there. Kind of a chest we don't really need to worry about right now, but thank you. I mean, that's this. It's a pretty good trinket to get. I think Steam Sale Plus, that's pretty good, but the requirement of money is a, a little behind us now, I've got to say. It's a little behind us. Dude, Parasitoid, with this much luck and holy light, it's going wild, baby. Hive Mind, Parasitoid, and a ton of luck is pretty good. I'm pretty sure Parasitoid is affected by luck. Now that I think about it, I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't feel like the shovel's eight charges, you know, but I think it's just because we're, like, blasting through rooms so quick. So this, we definitely want to spin down the black bean. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Hey, there's our gift. We can open up our gift straight away. We got Lent. I think Lent's pretty bad for us right now. I think it's something like taking no damage gives you a small stat upgrade or something like that. It's, it's nothing special. Let's try and speed through. These last few floors here. I mean, one one of the things I really like about um, about a Tainted Keeper on occasion is it's one of those characters... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. It's one of those characters where, like, you get to get really powerful before you get to the womb with his gimmick, and then his gimmick kind of goes away, and you just get to bask in the beauty that you've built. I mean, it's obviously not always going to be overpowered, but the chance of not getting an overpowered run, or at least a cool run, with this guy is pretty low, because you just have such an easy barrier to entry for multiple items. It's pretty good. I really like it. I mean, I've, I've said multiple times that this guy is my favorite character. I, he's he's the perfect balance between risk, difficulty, and enjoyability. Like, by no means is this guy an easy character. Your chance of getting a good run is pretty high, but you have to survive long enough to get that good run. And it, even though, like, basically healing is abundant, like, if you can't kill the enemy or can't get to the coin in time or this enemy's blocking it, it's not going to be as simple as just there you go, sort of thing. Another mystery gift. I always get divine intervention. Hey, we got uh, Seraphim. We are no longer flipped. We unflipped our sprite. I kind of like the fact that we dive into the floor when we're going up the light there because of our flipped sprite. That's kind of funny. But yeah, we are no longer flipped. We have unflipped ourselves. Dude, this, this item that halves enemies' HP is absolutely wild right now. Hey, nothing like that. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna spawn these where they are and see what we get. Dead bombs? I'm gonna go with a collar. Oh, wait, no! The shovel! Oops. <laughs> where is it? There you go. <laughs> I keep doing that. How have I done that twice this run? It's so easy to just forget and reroll what's there on the floor. Boom, boom, bow. Take care of these fellas. <sighs> Tell you what, I'm quite hungry right now, but after this... Me and my fiance are going to go out for a lovely, lovely meal um, at an all-you-can-eat buffet. And it's a buffet that I know is good, because I went yesterday. <laughs> and you may be wondering, why the hell are you going to a buffet twice in a row? My friend was feeling down and wanted to go, so I went with her. And then um, <laughs> my fiance was feeling down that she didn't get to go because she was at work. So now she wants to go there. And I ain't going to turn down the opportunity to go twice in a row. It was very good. I mean, buffets in general are just... Very good concepts and very enjoyable. But this was a particularly good one. It had, like, food from all regions. It had, like, a teppanyaki desk of a guy that would actually, like, make you uh, fresh meat and stuff. It was, it was really good. And there was a carvery desk, like, roasted meats and stuff. Just, like, top tier. Absolutely top tier. Boom. Bacon pancakes. No! I did it again! <laughs> I've lost so many shovels. God damn it. I've lost so many shovels. Boom. Oh, that's a terrible one. Oh, we can spin that down to Baroque Murdom. Oh, no, we can spin the Mysterious Gift down to Baroque Murdom. Let's do it. Baroque Murdom. 
Marbles isn't really anything for us. Whatever, that wasn't amazing. That wasn't amazing, but we should be we should be speeding through here. I keep thinking it's not going to be a mysterious gift and every time it is. Ooh, that's not bad though. That's not bad. Green flame, why not? Thought that was going to be an active, but it wasn't. Why do we have this big aura around us? Why items giving us that? I don't know. I mean, I like it. That is a cool death animation that guy's got. Yeah, we are we are blasting through this floor. This is the last one that we got going on here. And I'm ready to go and eat so much food. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be so good. Just can't stop thinking about it. Honestly, mysterious gift thing. You've you've tainted my my want to open up chests. Because I have to press an extra button. My goodness, an extra button. Um, it's one of those things where it's just like surplus to requirement, isn't it? Like, we do not need anything else right now. So I'm kind of like, eh, do I really want to go through the time constraint? The, the, the brief three extra seconds it takes me to pick up an item and use the box when I could just demolish the room anyways? I guess it's one of those things that, like, you never know what new interesting build you might create. So it's like, eh. But I think at the same time, we're like pretty home free here. But I do want to show that item off. I think that item has a lot of potential for secret rooms, devil deals, angel deals, all that good stuff. It's a cool idea because you can just open it in the room that you're in. But at the same time, you could choose to take it to the secret room or choose to take it elsewhere or get an extra item out of your angel deal. So stuff like that. I think it's a really, really interesting idea. If not just a bit, it's, it's like super basic, but it's basic in a good way. But here we are. We're at the bluest of babies. Taking them out. I mean, I think we've shown a lot of these runs that even with the upgraded blue baby that's got the boss armor and the new attacks, he still kind of gets wrecked. I mean, Holy Light is the, the the one true beast, the one true powerhouse right now. I love Holy Light. One of my favorite tier effects. There you go. We did it. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. That was a really fun little run. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.